At the NAACP Image Awards, I caught up with singer Ro James talking about uh, his new album and the hit song, Holy Water. Here you go. All right, folks, there are very few people, and I'm just being straight up honest, that I will actually listen to the entire album. There are some folk, you might listen to a song or two. Uh, but then uh, one day I was Shazamming. Uh, uh, I heard this song on a show. I shazammed it. Uh, it said Ro James. Uh, and then all of a sudden, uh, I'm listening to Holy Water. Uh, and then all of a sudden, I then uh, pull up uh, the CD El Dorado. So then I listen to the whole CD, and I said, This is a good CD here. Uh, and Ro joins us right now. What's up, man? What's up, man? How are you? Great. Good. So I'm listening to this CD, and I'm saying, uh, Somebody grew up listening to Prince. Uh, yeah, definitely. I can no, I can, I can hear it. I can literally hear it in the lyrical style. Wow, that's amazing. That's what's up. I definitely grew up listening to Prince. Prince is amazing. Uh, all of his music. Uh, my family, my aunt, sung with Prince. So I mean, early on, I had the opportunity of knowing about his artistry. So uh, he had a major influence. Purple Rain. I felt like I related to the story. Traveled a lot. Felt like I didn't fit in with a lot of people, but still felt like I didn't have to impress anybody. So, you know, I really res resonated with his story and uh, and his music, you know, uh, along with a lot of different other artists. D David Bowie, who Prince was also inspired by, you know, uh, D'Angelo. So, yeah. And so you have, I mean, first of all, if you, you go on iTunes and you see the comments that folks leave on yeah. there, I mean, a lot of people ha have really been impressed uh, because uh, th this city has a totally different sound. Right. You know, a lot of stuff that's out there. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to do something different, man. I knew that I had to fill a void, and uh, someone gave me some great advice up at my label. They were like, you know, you can do everything, because I grew up listening to country, rock, R&B. My father's a pastor that grew up listening to gospel music. Uh, my family's from the Caribbean, so I listen to a lot of reggae. So it's just like, where do I start? And they was like, you know, fill the void. You know, and R&B, I felt like, was such a genre that was missing that feeling and that emotion, and I grew up listening to it, loving Jodeci and H-Town and, you know, uh, D'Angelo, Usher, like just other artists that I felt like were great but I felt like I had something completely different and a different outlook and perspective on what R&B could be. You know. So I mean? I've, I've done several uh, Periscopes uh, yeah. uh, and uh, turning folks on uh, to Holy Water. I mean, so yeah. what, 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 what was the inspiration behind that song? Uh, Holy Water in itself, I feel like Holy Water was written when I just needed to inspire myself and to encourage myself. Um, I was going through a lot of different things, had a little discouraging moments where I was like, man, I'm working, but I don't see the results of what I'm doing. Uh, but it was more about the journey, and that's what the album is about, the journey for me. In the verse, first verse, I'm talking about, you know, uh, I'm r running from my city. I used to live in Indiana, and I felt like I couldn't get out of that. You know, there was nothing there that was gonna help me get to where I was going, so I left to move to New York where I'm pursuing and now I'm leaving New York to go out and share with the world. And you know, in the second verse, I'm kind of talking about my grandfather, blue skies and the memory of you makes me feel special because he reminded me, yo man, don't quit, keep doing your music. You, you have a voice, a lot of people don't have it. That's a talent. So I just hear him in the back of my mind and it's just the holy water to bless me and continue to remind me not to lose my soul whenever I feel down. Uh, well, it certainly uh, has been uh, one heck of a year for you. Absolutely. Uh, Holy water. Uh, so so well, I'm sure that one you cannot complain about. Absolutely. Uh, so what's next? What's next? I'm on, I'm on my own headlining tour right now, uh, which is a blessing. First one, it's been amazing. Uh, and after I get off this, I'm going to work on my next album. I got the concepts and, you know, all the creatives. I've been working a little bit, so I'm ready to create a new project. All right, then. Yeah, man. Well, man, it's really good uh, Good to meet you. And like hey. I say, uh, and uh, I actually, again, other folk, yeah. I actually have the whole album. Word. Listen, and I, and I jam it all the time. And so, Thank you, man. Uh, certainly appreciate it. Keep doing your thing. Thank you very much. All right, I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Kickstart your day at 7 and get the news you need from the perspective you want. News One Now with Roland Martin every weekday morning at 7 on TV One.